around the wall to Pitlick. Pitlick hands it back off to Sini, low to high, Kaiser controls. Across it goes to Gutman, right back to Kaiser. Across to Pitlick, oh, Tyree score! Hardman taps it in! A one-time pass from Ren Pitlick, found the stick of Hardman, and the Hogs take a 1-0 lead. That's a really high skill, that's four high skill passes. You know, they, they didn't have those bucks on that their sticks for more than a second. Second, second, boom, 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 boom. And Pitlick knew exactly what he was doing with that puck when he got it. Are we allowed to give out four assists? No, but it's looking at the skill of the, the skill level of that. Kind of get a tour and see what the players get to experience on a daily basis. Pitlick off the draw and a shot. Oh. Tips in, they score, it's Gutman. He would not be denied again. That one counts. It's a beautiful tip. Six goals in six games for Cole Gutman. He's piping hot. And that's, the defenseman's looking for that play the whole time. He's got his head up. He's looking for that tip, seeing if there's a, a, a lane, and it's a great play. Here it is. Pass across was tipped by Gutman in front of the net. This one is Cole Gutman's 11th of the season. He had a goal get called back just minutes ago. And now it's 2-0 with 732 left. Picked up a point in the overtime loss last night. Here is Jack Thompson, 21-year-old, former third-round pick of Tampa Bay, and now Stunika centering pass in front, and they score! And it is Ethan Cardwell. The offspring of the former Ice Hog, Justin Cardwell, makes it 2-1, a power play goal. Cardwell has goals in back-to-back -back games against his father's old team. Yeah, they just they just had speed on this play, outside speed, and then nobody picked up the guy going to the net. Well, there was two guys at the net. I don't know if there were, I, Strand was getting in there late. Maybe it was a change that he got on the ice late. That's as easy as it comes for Cardwell. Hogs and then lost the handle. Gustin turns and whipped it wide. What a glove saved by Camesso. Oh, he just robbed Cole Castles. That's a great save. Phillips is not happy with himself. On the, he's kind of been a little bit higher risk. And I think part of it is because, you know, he's been playing in the NHL and he's probably trying to push his game as much as he can. But you got to be careful there. Let's take a look at the save from Camesso. The puck went off the end wall. Then he reaches back out with the glove and says, give me that. There's no sharing here. What a save with the mitt. Phillips, calm with the puck, finds an open Gutman across the blue line. Gutman in with Pitlick. Pitlick back door, <laughs> tapped in, and they score! Pinch me! And I'm wearing green! That's huge going into the period because, you know, we played okay. We don't, we just don't think we're playing up to our, what we really click it on all cylinders. But that Pitlick, he makes a lot of unselfish plays. He's a good passer. Cole Gutman has his second goal of the game. He took it across the line. Pitlick was able to force it right back across the blue paint. And Cole Gutman knocks in goal number 12 on the season. How hot is he right now? Ice Hogs have it. Skating to center is Jackson Cates. Cates drops this into the offensive zone for the Hogs. It's pushed around by E2 Makadiemi. Shot by Crevier is a pad stop by oh. Makadiemi, and they score! Four to one! Johnny on the spot, Jackson Cates! What happened on that goal? We got the puck deep, got it to the point, got it to the net, traffic to the front. Crevier had the shot from the right point. Jackson Cates was able to capture it in front of the San Jose net and bag his 11th goal of the season. So that's a huge start. We get a goal at the end of the period, and a lot of times that gives you momentum. You're in the locker room, you're feeling good. We get the fourth, now I want to see the fifth. 41 seconds into the third period.